Hi everybody, this is Mrs. Vicki coming to you from Inspire Arts and today we're going to be working with charcoal and we're going to create Jack Skellington and this is a great activity for grades kindergarten all the way up to second grade. These are our supplies. We will be having something called vine charcoal which is this. It's a, a really thin willowy kind of um, charcoal and we also have compressed which is a little bit more like a chalk pastel it's nice and thick and this is where we get our grays this is where we get our blacks you're going to need a piece of paper you can use cardstock or just regular copy paper that's fine um, and pencil maybe a sharpie or any black marker would do and maybe an eraser um, just to give you a heads up this is what the oops excuse me this is what the vine charcoal actually comes in so they actually come in longer um, longer pieces you would just break them off so they're a little bit smaller for your classes and here is what the compressed charcoal comes in so they're actually just like just like a uh, chalk pastels they're like longer blocks so what you're going to do if you are deciding to use uh, charcoal in your classroom you would go ahead and break it okay but try not to do what I just did which is break it on top of paper that you need you would just, I'm gonna go ahead and blow that off. And so if we are going to go ahead and start our um, Jack Skellington, um, the first thing we will actually do is we are going to start with a very big circle. But I'm gonna do one of two things here. I'm gonna actually make a line of where, how, how tall and how big I want this circle to be. I think it'll be about this big and I want it to be about this big. So this is called plotting. So plotting, this is how wide I want it to be. Excuse me, how tall I want it to be. And this is how wide I want it to be. So from there, you can go ahead and dot your circle off. Or if you feel really comfortable and you wanna go ahead and just draw it, you can actually just draw it and it doesn't have to be like a perfect shape. Jack Skellington kind of has like a really odd shape to him. And then that is step one. And then from here, we're actually going to use like this line, this curve that goes all the way across. He has a very, very big smile. But the other thing he has is he has actually very big circle eyes. So one, we're gonna do two. There you go. And then in the middle here, you're gonna do two triangles. One, two, where it's a straight line, straight line, and then triangle. And then from here, we're gonna draw lines. And for his neck, he has, he's a skeleton, so he has a really skinny neck. And this is what we'll be doing again. This is a great activity for kindergarten through third grade. I'm gonna kind of pause here. Um, just to kind of let your students catch up. Teachers, you guys can go ahead and dot, dot it off for them if it makes it easier. Dot off any of these shapes, just because it um, can get a little bit uh, confusing. And go ahead and just mark off these shapes so this is what your Jack Skellington should be looking like. And then from here, you're going to go ahead and go ahead and Take your marker, you're just going to uncap it, put the cap back on the back, and all you're gonna do, friends, you're just going to go ahead and trace our Jack Skellington. All of the lines. And try to be as careful as you can. That way, it looks really cool this way. And I'm gonna ask that if you should miss a line, don't worry, it's okay. I missed a couple of little lines here and it's still going to be an awesome artwork. Great. So this is a great project for Halloween. Um, I think if you're going with Nightmare Before Christmas, um, this could also work for the holidays. And then so this is my compressed charcoal. So. Boys and girls, teachers, you guys can go ahead and grab your compressed charcoal. It's really light. And all we're gonna do, if it's about this big, I'm actually going to ask, uh, you guys can 
If you feel like you want to work with it a little bit smaller, you can go ahead and break it. I like to work with it a little bit smaller. And all we're going to do is this. We're going to take the side and we're going to cover. I'm holding on to the paper here. We're going to actually just cover the whole thing. And it's going to be a little bit odd looking. So we're just covering it up and this is called toning your paper. Okay, we're putting a tone of gray onto your paper. And then from here, it gets a little bit dusty. But from here, I'm going to take my hand and all I'm going to do is now I am going to blend it. Notice I'm using this hand to hold on to it because it will move around a lot. So just like this. So now our paper here has this awesome gray tone. Then from here, I'm gonna go in with the charcoal, the compressed charcoal. This is our black. And all I'm going to do, I'm gonna use the tip here. And I'm going to go ahead and kind of trace the inside of the eye. And then all of this, I'm going to go ahead and fill it in. So it's nice and dark. Just like this. Same thing here. I'm just gonna fill that in. And then teachers, if some of your students are struggling using the flat side, you can actually have them use the, the skinny part, like the tip, and they can just do lines if this is um, a little bit too hard to use the flat side. So we're just gonna go like that. Now we're gonna fill in the nose. And I'm actually even gonna take some of this and we're gonna add what's called a core shadow. And we're gonna add this right here. And I'm gonna add a little bit of that foreshadow right here. Then from here, I'm gonna put this to the side. You're gonna take the fi your finger and all you're gonna do is blend. We're just going to blend. Just like this. All right, thank you artists for all of your attention. I really appreciate your concentration. And then, so this is part of our Jack Skellington here. And I'm gonna do something kind of interesting. I'm gonna kind of go over like this. And this creates a little bit of a shadow around his eyes, makes him a little bit spooky, right? Cool. And then from here, we're going to take your eraser. So this is one of the great things about working with charcoal. It's a technique called reduction. So reduction is when we erase and now we are using now we are using the eraser as a drawing tool not just as an erasing tool but as a drawing tool so this is helping me get my lights just like this and then blowing it off any of the shavings right and then i'm even going to if you have if you want to get a little fancy this is called a reflective light. So if your kindergartners aren't able to do this, it's okay, teachers. But if they can, they can just use an eraser to go to the side. I'm gonna use this eraser so now I can kind of erase part of it. Look, I can even erase this. Now it looks like now it looks like it's glowing. And then I'm gonna erase part of it here to pretend like there's a little bit of a light source right there. You could even go the next step and you could even erase maybe a moon. So that's another cool thing that you can do with this. Just like that. So you guys could see that. And if you want to make it a little bit darker, you can go ahead and trace it. And I'm going to just go ahead and blend around it just to kind of make that moon pop out more. The other thing you can do is take white paint and put dots as if it was a night sky. But this is a Jack Skellington and it's a fun little little um, activity that you can do with the kids using charcoal and getting them familiar with it. Alright friends, well I hope that you have a great and wonderful day and I wish you a inspiring day.